I'm going to share something with y'all. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from it and this has been like a therapy session. Oscar Bevis, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by the last. Johnny Garton joins me at your call. Um, Johnny, we've just seen an absolute cracker between Shaq Day and Jack Martin. One of the best fights I've seen here at York Call. Um, I know it didn't go Shaq's way tonight, but yeah, what a fight. Oh, crack. Best fight I've seen in a long time, to be honest. As you said, didn't go um, Shaq's way, unfortunately. Um, fair play to Jack. I think he was just a bit busier, that's all. Yeah, and he's tough, and he, Jack. I mean, Shaq threw a lot. They both threw a lot, but uh, Jack, he, he looks like someone who can really, really take a shot. Yeah, both very tough. I think they both uh, at some point. Um, but yeah, I think Jack come through it and uh, he deserved to win. Yeah. And obviously, your call is where the career ended for you. Um, just being back and being around all of this, I mean, I haven't spoken to you in a long time, but being back and being around all of this, does it ever give you that little, I want this? <laughs> um, my career started and ended here, so um, yeah, every time I come back, I love it. It's the, I think it's the best boxing venue in the UK, small anyway. Um, and yeah, I get I just I see everyone fighting, I get jealous and. Yeah, it's not it's not easy to watch, to be honest. Yeah, what's retirement been like for you? Because you haven't been one of them people who's kind of been front and center of every single camera. So I feel like since retirement, I haven't kind of been too aware of what sort of things you've been up to. So what's been going on in the life of Johnny Garton? Uh, it's hard. I ain't gonna lie, it's hard. It's um, big kicking the nuts and back to reality. But just you know, I've got a family, so I just have to go back to work and crack on really, and just get on with day to day life. Yeah, have you been trying to keep as close to the boys? that you know who are boxing, of course, you're here with Team Shaq tonight, but have you been trying to keep as close as possible just to kind of keep that kind of love for boxing as well? Yeah, I'll do a bit of PTs and uh, coach a few kids and some amateurs um, down to us. So obviously, I'm good friends with Shaq anyway, but I train at his gym. I'm not as much involved with iBox uh, as I'd like to be, but, you know, um, as I said, I've got a young family, I work, so I started trying to make the time, but... Um, Hopefully, I will be able to cut me hours down at work and branch out a bit more. And I'm uh, going for my pro license this month or next month. And then, um, yeah, hopefully, open up a new window or new door, should I say? Yeah, hopefully so. Um, do you kind of have a different feeling to boxing as when you were fighting? Because obviously, if you'd have grown up loving boxing, you go and do what you want to do and box as a professional. Um, do you kind of love it in a different sense? Like, can you love it as a fan when you've been a fighter? Uh, no, I'll always, I'll always go from a fighter's mentality. Yeah. I try, as it sounds like I try not to watch boxing as much now because, as I said, I get jealous and I get the ump, and then I just criticise people. <laughs> I just be a bit of a prick, really. But uh, you know, I love the sport, but I, I love doing it rather than watching it. So um, yeah, I do find it hard to go and watch boxing. But obviously, when you make to fight, and you've got to support them. Yeah, we can't wait to see you back more involved um, because I feel like you're someone that. Well, when I started at IFL, I done a lot with you and. Um, It'd be great to see you back more involved in the sport. I know you said you don't obviously follow it too much, but is there anyone you're kind of watching at the moment, be it, I don't know, prospect level, British level, that you're kind of thinking, yeah, this is someone I think could be the next big thing that any British fighter's about? You know, I'm always going to support the uh, Ibox boys, but they have got a great bunch of kids at the moment, or uh, not kids, I say young young men. But, um, they are kids, aren't they? they are, yeah, they're all, they're all juniors, aren't they, really? But... Um, yeah, they've got a great stable there at the moment. And obviously, Mi uh, Mickey Burke's got the likes of Sam Noakes, uh, Sean Noakes, sorry, Shaq, who's unfortunately lost tonight. And he's got a few good fighters in his camp. So, yeah, there is a few coming through. Yeah. And maybe a Johnny got an exhibition then? Yeah, uh, <laughs> put it off. Let's put it that way. <laughs> I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying completely different ball game. I'll walk away from it and this has been like a therapy session.